Welcome back to JSA TV Live, the newsroom for tech, telecom, and data center professionals. I'm Buffy Harakidis coming to you live from PTC 23 in sunny Honolulu, Hawaii. And joining me today is Jeff Barber, Vice President of Global Data Centers for Bloom Energy. Jeff, welcome back to JSA TV. It's such a pleasure to have you. Thanks, Buffy. Yeah, it's been it's been too long. I think last year we had very few attendees at PTC, and this year is absolutely overwhelming. It's great to be back with yes. JSA for sure. So great to have you back here at PTC. And you're right, this is probably one of the biggest PTC events ever. I think by far. By, yeah, far. by far. And the conference floor is definitely buzzing. It is packed here today, uh, live. And Jeff, why don't you give us a little bit more information about Bloom Energy, its entry into the data center market here that you're pretty much launching, uh, the data yeah. center division here at PTC 23? Yeah, thanks Buffy. So yeah, Bloom is um, focused on the data center market with a laser focus at this point. It is, um, Bloom Energy is on-site power generation, either working with or without the utility. Uh, in the data center industry, uh, as we know, power is what we do, providing power in a reliable way and in a consistent way. Uh, Bloom uh, deploys solid oxide fuel cells, no combustion, but we're basically creating electrons from molecules using, using hydrogen today, um, using natural gas, converting that to hydrogen. So highly reliable, very sustainable. Um, predictable. It's it's an excellent, excellent vertical to focus on. The demand has been incredible so far, especially here at the show. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, but Bloom is no stranger to, you know, to power and to uh, sustainability, of mm -hmm. course. Uh, one of the key differentiators of yep. uh, Bloom Energy. So why don't you tell us a little bit more about the sustainability angle? Sure. So Bloom naturally uh, produces far less carbon than any other alternative resource other than perhaps solar. And that's today. Bloom has been around a long time. Um, it's a very resilient, stable platform. I think what has occurred over the last few years is the density of our devices has reached a point where it's appropriate for data centers. So today, uh, each device is producing approximately 55 kilowatts of power. Um, in the past, that was much lower. So that also brings um, an economic angle as we, as we gain economies of scale, as we produce many, many more units, thousands of units, gigawatts of, of output, um, our, our, our cost of goods can come down and we're, we're much more in line with, um, with other sources. So uh, as I mentioned, we're hydrogen ready today. When the distribution network is there, when the production is there, when the pricing is there, Bloom Energy is future proof. You're simply, you're simply swapping a few components inside the device but the device itself does not change. The chemistry itself does not change. Yeah. So it seems like uh, Bloom Energy is the perfect solution at the perfect time, yeah. especially in today's climate where there are power uh, oh, yes. restrictions and constraints everywhere Just you turn. Lack of it everywhere. Yes. yes. Uh, so why don't you tell us how it meets some of those power challenges? Yeah, absolutely. As I mentioned earlier, Bloom is on-site microgrid power generation. We like to say behind the meter. Okay, so we can deploy, for instance, in months versus many times years. If uh, everyone is familiar with the data center sector, is familiar with what's going on in Virginia right. and elsewhere, internationally that gets even more intense. Um, the lack of availability in, 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 the, in the UK, in Germany, in Ireland. Um, we are the perfect solution right now. Like I said, it, it is deployable in months. Uh, it may take longer depending on the bureaucracy involved in the district, but as far as our devices, our um, we are up to scale from production facility perspective, 100% produced in the U.S. We don't have the same supply chain issues that's going on uh, elsewhere with other forms of electricity. Yeah, so it seems like the perfect solution at the perfect time. Yeah, it is. And it especially is. now uh, in today's market here. Uh, but you mentioned uh, U.S. Uh, that's where the products are yep. manufactured yes. and everything. But you are global, right? Oh, absolutely. So Bloom can... is Bloom is very much global. the The U.S. production is really to uh, because it's such a critical aspect of the business is really to control supply chain, manage supply chain, right. uh, manage costs, manage efficiency. Um, I think it, there's some great foresight within the executive ranks of Bloom. Um, manufacturing is out of Delaware and out of Fremont, California. Mm -hmm. Um, like I mentioned, the, the supply chain has not been an issue for us, which is which is unique right now, that as is, you know. That yeah. is very unique, uh, especially in today's data center 
world. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Okay, so uh, what's coming up the pike here for Bloom? I mean, you just landed with Bloom Energy. Uh, you you're leading the data center division. I am. You're already making a splash here at PTC. Yeah. Working on for it. Sure. Yep. I mean, Bloom is everywhere. Yep. Um, and tomorrow night, you guys will be sponsoring the right. PTC Awards, we right? Well, so very excited about that. Bubbly sponsor. Yep. So be sure to check out Bloom at the PTC Awards tomorrow night. Uh, mm -hmm. They are one of the top sponsors of the event. Uh, so definitely making a splash here at PTC. Yep. Uh, so is there anything else you wanted to add today, Jeff? Um, no, just that this has been an unbelievable show at PTC. As far as what's coming up for Bloom, I would expect to see um, higher densities, even higher densities, uh, you know, uh, on the roadmap. You know, no, no forward looking statements or anything like that, right, right. but it makes sense. If you look at our history, we've always been able through efficiencies to increase the output of the devices. And you're right. This is absolutely the kickoff of this vertical within Bloom. Or PTC is not a better, there's not a better location to do it than PTC. There is definitely no better location no. to launch Bloom Energy's data center division than here live at PTC 23. Jeff, congratulations Thank on your you. new role as a vice president of global data centers Thank for you. Bloom Energy, uh, the perfect solution at the perfect time Absolutely. for data centers globally. Jeff, again, congratulations. Thank you, Buffy. And be sure to check out Bloom Energy at PTC Awards tomorrow night. They are the bubbly sponsor. And if you are here live, uh, they are on the floor at the PTC Hub. Uh, yep. Where can viewers go to learn more? Obviously to the website, bloomenergy.com. Um, follow us on LinkedIn and all the usual places, Twitter and, and Instagram and other. And uh, you'll see quite a bit of collateral coming out of this, out of this event. Yeah, thank well, you very much. We're so excited. Uh, we're so excited to have you as one of our partners, too, here at JSA. Uh, thanks again, and thanks, viewers, for tuning in to another episode of JSA TV Live here from PTC 23 in Honolulu, Hawaii. Happy networking.